These bins can be extremely dangerous. The one, like you see right over my shoulder, is designed to only take in clothes and shoes. But some of these bins have become death traps. The man got stuck and suffocated. You have much room at all. I know that this isn't the first time. Hi, the man was killed when he got stuck inside of a donation bin. So the problem with these bins is that when they're open, they, they provide a small gap to the inside. And this promotes two problems. One, if someone was truly motivated, they could climb inside there. And it also lets you see the inner contents, which encourages theft. This past year, there was a woman found in Vancouver stuck inside one of these clothing donation bins. She was actually dead on the scene. Now, while this is still illegal, she was cold, she needed clothes. And so we feel that a donation bin should not pose these threats or dangers to anyone in our society. That's why we have a solution. Our van operates using wheel that sits on a horizontal axis. Uh, it is attached to a ratchet system, so as you move along, you can't go back the other way. As it rotates around, it goes along, travels along this plate here, and then it's free to drop in. So, actually, I have a little clothing donation here that's gonna go in the bin. We're gonna put it in the bin here, rotate it around, follow it here, and then bam, it's donated. The key safety feature that this bin addresses is the fact that the old bins let you have a little gap to climb into. Now with this, because it's circular and the bags only get inserted into the bin towards the back, this will ensure that no one is going to be able to easily climb into this bin. Now in regards to theft, if someone were to try to steal a bag that was only half put in, they can't rotate it back because this is on a ratchet system. The Lighthouse, it's time to illuminate the future of clothing donations.